So pretty much I've got my bread here. So how did bread upma come? So it's very simple. Back in the olden days when they used to buy the bread, when it, when it used to reach the, well, end of shelf life and also the bread becomes very uh, crumbled. So that's when they started making the upma. So that's how they got the idea pretty much. It's all about the end of this bread life. That's how it starts with. Hey, what's up guys, VGI here. So pretty much in this video, I'm gonna actually show you how to make uh, bread dukma. So this time I'm actually using a little bit of, uh, you know, I'm just frying the peanuts. I've got onions, I've got chilies, curry leaves. Pretty much I'm gonna just uh, fry this until it reaches this level of consistency, as you can see. You start off with a little bit of oil, then you come up to this. You need to be patient with the peanut to get up to this. You cannot just fast forward to something like this. It takes around like at least 7 to 10 minutes to get this this level. And it's completely in sim. I mean, the whole uh, stuff is in sim to get it up to this level. So after this, I'm going to actually extract the peanuts out. So for the seasoning, I'm going to actually use a little bit of... Uh, mustard seeds, urad dal and chana dal. So the oil is pretty warm right now. We use the same oil which we used for the peanut, which just got extracted. It's clean, do not worry about that. Just continue with that. That's enough for this. So pretty much first mustard and then urad and then chana dal. All in same and just you just have to go back and forth. Like that. Just get it up to golden brown. It needs to become like golden brown. So it's reached the golden brown stage as you can see. It takes around like two to three minutes to get to that. I'm gonna add the curry leaves. Just gonna go like that, back and forth. Then the chili. It's a gentle fry. And now I'm going to add the onions, pretty much. Just mix it up. And now I'm going to add the um, turmeric, one teaspoon. All together, just gonna mix it up and put this on the sim. And then I'm gonna close it off for a while so that the onions, you know, slightly they cook for this thing. Pretty much I've got my bread as you can see, it's pretty crumbled. So now I'm gonna add it onto the upma. I'm just gonna, well, add it onto the uh, seasoning. So I'm going to slightly mix it up so I don't want to overdo it after it loads up the full bandli or the pan. So it goes. I'm going to put the rest of it. So pretty much uh, I've mixed the bread all together. You might have to mix it longer once you start mixing it but I'm gonna keep it in sim as it is I'm gonna come up to this now here's the trick I've got yogurt the salt and sugar I'm gonna add it onto this and then mix it up so I'll be using the jaggery sugar just like about two teaspoons pretty much and then accordingly salt this is according to taste Sometimes the bread has got a lot of salt, so just be careful. Just add that much. Then I'm gonna mix this up. And then, then I'm gonna add it to that. So. so pretty much I've mixed it up equally. And I'm gonna just go gently onto the sides and onto the center all the way through. I 
gonna just mix it up. Now this is the part which gets interesting. It's gonna combine all together and it's gonna taste really good. So after I mix it up with the yogurt, it becomes like this. This is how it becomes. This is the actual kind of upma where it reaches pretty much. I love a lot of yogurt and the part kind of mixing because then you sort of get that extra taste in between. So now I'm gonna add the peanuts for the last bit. And that is pretty much it. So there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Give a big thumbs up if you did like the video. And do subscribe.